Ariel, so today I'm going to be showing you how I do my hair in the morning. I don't blow a dry it that often, but when I do, these are some of the products I use, and most of them I still use when I don't blow dry my hair. So I've already used my It's a 10 leave-in and my It's a 10 um, oil, which I use pretty much every single day. I have a review if you want to check that out. I'll put a link like right in this area so you can check those. So the next thing I'm going to use is my It's a 10 cream which I really like it. It has like a really light hold and I usually only use this when I do blow dry my hair because it helps down with the frizz and uh, when I blow my blow dry my hair it's pretty frizzy and as you can tell my hair is pretty much dry I would say it's about not pretty much dry but it's drier than it was it's probably 40% dry right now so I'm going to take my uh, I always forget my blow dryer to it. So I put some cream in it. I'm going to shake this up. This is my color uh, hair shake. There's really not any color on my hair. It is all just, besides this blue, but I don't care if that fades. Besides just my bleach and I am now putting some catwalk. I don't like catwalk products that much, but this is a um, smooth and shine heat protectant. So I'm gonna use that since I'm flat iron my hair and blow drying it, but I have my own little flat iron protecting spray, but since I'm blow drying it, I am going to use my, um, I think it's called Fantasia, I think so, but if you look at the back of most of their products, it's like the alcohol is one of their main ingredients, that's why I don't like catwalk that much, so when even customers used to come in, I said, no, just read the ingredients and then you'll figure out why we don't like it here, but um, it smells really good. All their products smell good. They just, they have a good scent to them. And I'm just going to use a um, Root Boost. This is uh, Miracle Blow Dry Volumizer. This has a heat protectant in it too as well. Oh, I got that in my mouth. And I'm just gonna spray that on the underneath of my hair. All right. So I'm gonna blow dry my hair. Give me one second. So while I'm in the bathroom blow drying my hair, I'm going to give you guys a couple tips and tricks on how to get the most volume out of thin, fine hair. The first thing you're going to need is a really good light root boost. A root boost is almost shaped like a um, spray bottle with a nozzle on it, so it concentrates the, um, the formula right by your roots, so when you take your hair back down, you get the maximum volume. As well, you'll need a really good mousse. Mousse is always your best friend. I would always say if you're going to use a mousse though, make sure you blow dry your hair. Don't just put the mousse in and let it dry naturally because it will give you a scrunchier effect than the volume effect that you want. As of well, I would get yourself a really good round brush. Depending on how long your hair is and how much volume or how straight you want it to be, that's the round brush you should choose. The smaller the round brush, the more volume and the more curls you can get out of it. The larger the round round brush, the less volume it will get, but the straighter your hair will get. I do like round brushes, but I feel like it takes a little too long for me to um, blow my hair, blow dry my hair because I process my hair so much. My hair takes a little longer than average blow dry because it holds so much moisture into my hair shaft. So what I do, I usually just take my hand and scrunch it all up while I'm in there and even turn my hair upside down. I do use my small round brush a little bit into this video, so I'll put the little video right here. So when you take the round brush, as you can see, I kind of section my hair off into a little part and I put that round brush right in the roots and then I flip it back over and then I'm going to take that blow dryer and just blow dry that root until I can come all the way out. Oh, I'm looking like a scary, scary witch mess right now. I'm by the window right now so you can kind of see how blonde my hair is. I know it looks like a hot mess and I'm a witch, but Halloween is coming and my roots are still kind of yellow as you can tell. Um, as of well, I did put some weird blue lilac um, pastel colors in the side. For some reason, the roots took a little better than the rest, but it looks like I'm done blow drying my hair, so let's go back into the bathroom and check on how I'm doing. So my hair is completely cold since I've blow dried it, so I'm actually going to take my heat protectant spray and I'm almost out. I'm going to need to buy more soon. And I'm going to just spray that all over my hair. 
This smells so good. And I'm just gonna let it sit for a minute before I start flat ironing my hair. You're also gonna need some clips so you can section off your hair. So when you are flat ironing it, it's a lot easier so you don't miss any sections. So here's my first section. And I'm going to take my heat protecting spray and spray it right near my hair. And I'm going to comb it so I can make sure it's all saturated in the heat protectant spray. Since I'm wearing a black shirt, it's going to be a lot easier for you to see how damaged my hair is actually in the back and how many different layers it is. I know, don't tell me how damaged my hair is. I bleach it so freaking much. <laughs> so, let's get started. So I resectioned a um, section in the front of my head so you guys can kind of see what's going on here. So the first thing you're going to do is you want to take your comb and section it off so you can see I have a pretty straight line. It really doesn't matter if it's too clean or neat because you're eventually going to flat on your whole head. You're going to take your section and I'm going to say about a quarter inch thick. You don't want to go any thicker than that unless you have really, really, really thin hair. My hair is thin, but it's not too thin. You're going to take by your flat iron and you're actually going to um, stroke it a couple times right by the root and you're going to go to the ends and go straight through. You don't want to leave that flat iron too long on your ends because that's what gives you those cruddy cruddy ends. I'm going to show you guys one more time and then you guys are on your own. So I'm going to spray that stuff on there again and I'm going to let it sit for a couple seconds. Because you don't want to do it when it's still completely wet in your hair because then you're just frying your hair. Just think about you're putting oil on your hair and then you're taking that flat iron, you're frying your hair. Literally, you're frying it. <laughs> so I feel like I'm so robotic in this video. I don't know. So I'm going to do the same thing. You can stroke it a couple of times right by the root. And if you want that maximum volume, you can actually curl it just a little. If you can see, that gives it that little volume. But I don't mind just taking the whole thing nice and flat, but that's one you can do. You can also curl your hair with your flat iron. You can do finger legs, finger waves with your flat iron. You can do waves with your flat iron. It's pretty much all up to you. Just, you need to get to know your flat iron. <laughs> oh my gosh, this sounds so corny right now, guys. I'm gonna stop now and finish flat ironing my hair. Be right back. So as you can see, I'm half finished with my hair and the flat iron on the side, if you can almost tell, it looks so much healthier. It is so much smoother and so much softer. So it really all depends on what kind of flat iron you have. I would never recommend a wet to dry flat iron. That just kills your hair. Um, if I did have one, I'd probably only use it once a month when I'm in a total complete rush. But other than that, I don't feel like... Um, Heat on wet hair is any good. Just like frying your hair, you're boiling your hair. And obviously you have some products on there too. So you're adding oil with water. So if you've ever tried that in the oven, it kind of makes a little bit of an explosion. Um, so you're exploding your hair, I guess I could say. So always blow dry your hair first. Make sure it's completely dry. And then go ahead and flat iron it. So the very last step I usually do my to my hair. So we're just talking about this side of my head right now, my left side. Um, the last step I do, my hair looks so much longer too, doesn't it? It's cool. I take my one and only argan oil and I just use like completely, oh, that's way too much. But like a little tiny drop, as you can see, and I use too much. So I am going to rub this into my skin. And I just kind of stroke my hair with it. If your hair is a little greasy, don't go up by your roots. But since my hair is so freaking dry, like the desert, I go by my roots to help with the frizz. So I don't know if you guys are going to tell in this lighting, because I can tell on my camera phone that this up here is all yellow and this is like a white blonde, which is gorgeous. And that is that argan oil is going to help with the frizz. It's going to help make it shiny and everything. Just look. And I, ha I just got a haircut before I quit my job. I had my uh, co-worker cut it for me. So it's really blunt, straight. Kind of what I like. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, have a good one. 
If you have any questions about the products below, comment below. I don't know if this video sounds like it's going to be really tacky from what I'm thinking about what I said in this whole video. So I'm sorry if it's really completely stupid. I know I'm breaking out quite bad. You don't have to tell me. So have a good one. If you want to tag me, you can tag me. I love doing tags. And uh, yeah. What side do you guys like better? I don't know. I'm I kind of like this side. I hope you guys do too. Uh, have a good one. Bye. It's an Ariel.